Hello, my name is Chorzy and welcome to my channel. This is the Battle Cats. And we're here with some special cat friend buddies. Most definitely cats, not at all weird demonic creatures here to haunt me for the rest of my life. In the past, I've grown to love these guys. I've only ever had one. We've got Asaluga, who turned into a, a beautiful baby boy. Look at him go. <gasps> Holy sh! He was lovely. And now we have a brand new one. Nobaluga. <laughs> it's a cat with a mustache. So, you know, your boy Chorzy has got to get him. You know, I need him. I want him now. He's brand spanking you. Hardly anyone else has him. I want him. Now, there is a 100% uber guaranteed draw here. I haven't done one of these for a very long time. Uh, I think the last one I did was actually during the uh, collab event for Eden Galleon. And now I'm like, I've only got one of these beautiful baby boys. I want more of them. I want the one with the mustache, honestly. If I were to like choose one, it would be the new one. Why? One. Views. Views. I'm, I'm starved of views. Two. A mustache. Three. Views. I have not get this yet. It's views. I want- Give me views! Anyways, we're gonna click on this. That's a lot of cat food I saved up here. I didn't actually spend any money. As of yet, I've been actually saving up cat food. And it's all gone. It's all gone. Here, to start us off, is the Buddha Vista cat. Then we have, what, Pogo cat? Okay. You know, we have Ghana cat. Now, I am, you know, praying for maybe two Ubers. Would be amazing. It would be such good luck. I haven't had that good luck for a very long time. You know, in terms of variants, it's only a matter of time until I get that, you know, good luck back again. Yo, Surfer Cat, I'll take that. Surfer Cat's always nice. I have like a little plus one on Surfer Cat. He's really powerful. We got McCree Cat here. Don't really use him. We got. <gasps> I don't think that's my 10th one, which means we might have duplicate Uber Rares. We've got Nekaluga, which I think is a really good one. Look at him shake. How awfully unsettling. I love him. He'll be mine. I'll put you into a corner where you can face the wall. Keep them coming. We have Archer Cat. Great meme. Great meme. And we have Pirate Cat. But then, you know, after that, we have... Okay, we got Wheel Cat. That's cool and all. But, you know, we also have... Oh, here we go. He's not a mustache cat. But, yo, it's another Luga family one. It's Kubaluga. Look at that little, like, little head thing. On the go. He's, he seems relatively happy. But there we have it. Those are our Ubers. We didn't quite get Mustache One. I didn't really expect to get Mustache One. I didn't really expect to get like two Ubers there as well. We got super lucky there. We got amazingly lucky. Again, it's about time Thomas. You know. We started off very strong in Battle Cats in terms of luck and getting cats. And then kind of like died out a bit. We got some like really awful luck. And I kind of got really upset. Just give me the Uber. Come on. Give me the fucking... <gasps> You son of a bitch, now! But now, you know, it's going back up again. That was really lucky. I love it. Tekaluga. Who did we get again? Nekaluga and Kubaluga. Tosses enemies away one at a time from range and scatters enemies with powerful blows. My baby boy, Ansaluga, has some friends, finally. So we got Kubaluga here. He will be level 10. Just for my amusement. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then Nekaluga will also be level 10. There we go. Nekaluga, not sure if this is a cat. Maybe if you evolve him? Question mark? And he evolves into unknown cat. Oh, okay, just <laughs> We can't even see him. Maybe, wow, we can't actually see him. These guys are huge. I love them. They're freaking Titan cats. Are you gonna like duck down here for me or are you gonna attack? What are you doing up there, bro? I need you to come down for my thumbnail, please. I need you for my thumbnail. Usually they attack, so I'm kind of concerned that he's not- Oh, that's creepy as hell. Oh, it's pretty creepy. Okay. God, I don't know if it's a cat anymore. Seriously, I give up. Nux back enemies, airy attack. And he evolves into, you know, his super form, true form at level 30. Showing off ass Luca here as well. Also another adorable little cat. Aren't you there? I can see his legs, but I can't really see much of anything else. And then we have Kubaluga. Not sure if it's a cat. There's just something about that neck. <laughs> you tell me about it. He evolves into 
Oh my god. Kubalan Pasalan. You can't be serious. Really? Seems like this one knocks back enemies from afar. So he has super long range. Ooh, he has a wave attack. Ooh. And knockback. That seems pretty good. Right? Oh, what's what's happening now? He's ne he's kneeling down. Oh, he just smashed him with his head. All right, cool. There's like a little like thumbnail picture right there. He doesn't have a chin. He's got like a weird like, you know, leafy syndrome on the go. Distinct lack of chin. But there he is. <laughs> That's so weird. I love them to no end. I want the entire collection. I seriously do. I love these cats. They're so fucking weird. Let me know in the comments below which of those cats you want me to level up even further, including Asaluga as well. Which Luga cat do you want me to try and level up and get to level 30? I do want to start using a Luga cat. I love the Luga family so much. I love how weird and creepy they look. So let me know in the comments below which one's the best one, which one's going to carry me to victory here. Because God knows I would love a carry. Battle restrictions only 1,200 or less. That's concerning because I love being carried by these strong boys. Unfortunately, that's not going to be the case anymore. So I guess, honestly, I think I'm okay with this setup. We have a new cat combo here, apparently. What is it? How do I know what's new or not? Well, punch, punch, punch is definitely new. Magellanic, M Magellanic, whatever. We're going to kill some alien scum. All right, so we have like all of our best cats, you know, off land. We can't use them right now. So we have what? Three meat shields. We've got DPS right now. We have an area attacker right now. And we have our beloved, beautiful, Christ like cat. We have Surfer Cat. He's awesome. He does a lot of damage to aliens and he's just, oh, he's just, he's awesome. He slows them down. He stops them. He freezes them. He survives a lethal attack. He's just really good. But he will need some support, aka more Surfer Cats and also Paris Cats as well. Oh, do you mean Cyber Cat? No, I mean Paris Cat. It's always going to be a Paris Cat for me. We have a huge surplus of money here. I'm not even too sure what to do with it right now. I suppose all we have to do is just upgrade to Max here, you know, so we can get more money. And right now, there is nothing we can use my money for. We're not even, like, getting our units killed right now. So we can actually, we can't deploy any more cats. This is the best we're ever going to do ever. There we go. Completely destroyed. Moving on. Butara. Don't even, don't, doesn't impress me much. I don't even need to see the restrictions here. I know it's a bad habit to, like, not see the restrictions here. I don't even need to. Because I know... My team can still do it. My team's still very powerful. Especially when I get like one of these surfer boys out there. Castaway Cat, come on out, please. Oh yeah, he teleports stuff. That doesn't stop them though. It's the lazy inevitable, you know, fates. By fate, I mean your oncoming doom and demise. I'm gonna kill you. So I'm trying to, I'm gonna kill you. Oh wait, yeah, the shield only breaks with like immense amount of attacks, I think. So if you do like a huge amount of damage, it breaks. Is that how it works? I don't know, I have to get stuff. <laughs> there's, there's a lot in this game to learn, okay guys? Like I, I'm slowly but surely like ingraining it into my mind, okay? I have a lot of people in the comments below helping me out with that, but it's gonna take some time, you know? I've never heard this music go on for this long. It's actually a banging tune. Oh, it's gone back to the beginning again. So we're almost there. Honestly, these matches, these rounds right now are incredibly easy. I do feel like we're a little bit far ahead, you know? Maybe we're a little bit too overpowered for these levels here. Another only 1,200 or less round here. When does it end? Let's just freaking do it. More Skandak. Let the battle begin. <laughs> Excuse me, who is this gentleman? What is this? <laughs> It looks so out of place. We have a metal hippo. I'm not falling for the trick again where I'm gonna like switch out to my metal people, you know? I know for a fact, it's just gonna be metal hippo, nothing else. We don't need the crit family, we just need meat shields. And we have plenty of meat shields here to take care of that. We have a lot of snacks over here as well, some orange snacks. And then we have like a little like mole over here as well. He's gonna be a problem, he's pretty goddamn strong. The mole is very strong if I recall, but he's very slow. There he is, he's gonna pop out. Unfortunately, we can't even get to him because of all the orange snacks. Holy crap, the snacks are so strong. We might struggle here a bit. And there's two metal hippos here as well. I don't know, ma'am. This seems actually kind of tough here. If we can like kill one of them, then we should be okay. We should be able to survive this. We'll get like enough money to keep up with like the, the, the outgoing cats. There's another freaking blue mole. Are you kidding? We've, we've lost. We've actually lost this one. Holy crap. This is it. This is where we lose. We can't kill the hippos in time. There's a third freaking hippo. That's it. We can't do this. What do I do here? Think, think, just think, just 
Calm down, think. There's nothing we can do. There's, there's nothing we can do here. Paris cats is probably our best shout here. They're all stacked up together. We need Paris cats to kill them off. That's probably our best shout. Meet shields and Paris cats together as one. And the occasional, like, seafarer cat as well might be extremely good. There we go. We killed one of the metal hippos. But right now, you know, we're pretty goddamn slow at killing them. That took forever, and it's already being replaced by another metal hippo right now. So, like, you know, it could be going better. It could be going a little bit better. Yeah, I think we've, we're bones. We've lost. We're gonna have to. We have to think about this one. We're gonna have to use our noggin. God knows I hate that. God damn you, game. Maybe we can like kill one mole if we kill one mole. Slim chance of surviving here. I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna roll over and die. Okay. You think cats roll over and die? Mm -mm. They land on their feet and die. Okay. That's how it works. Dogs roll over, not cats. Yeah. All right. Well. Thoughts. <laughs> for starters, it would be really nice if we had like a crit hitter for the hippos, get rid of them nice and early, get the alien killers on the go. It'd be also really nice to get the treasures on the go as well. We haven't actually got any of the treasures yet. Like none of them. Oh, we got this one. Anti-zombies. Well, that's, that's gonna be really helpful for me. Thank you. So I'm gonna have to go through them, I think, honestly, and try and get as many of these as possible. It is getting a lot harder now and for like the final match it's gonna be even harder so we're gonna have to really try out and get these treasures here i know you guys have told me a lot in the comments below like hey get the treasures you're, st you're stupid you're being a big stupid head get the treasures and i'm like thank you i'm a lazy boy okay it takes a long time to do it i'm gonna try and do this without treasures right now i'm gonna try and do it see how well it goes surely macho leg cat is a good cat right strong against aliens it's level 40 Five. That's like a lot of numbers. And that level must be better than most, you know, cats that I have right now in my roster that can do damage against aliens. We got Chill Cat, level 35. That's not bad at all. Massive area damage to aliens. Again, would be really good, but it's very fragile and it costs a lot. If this thing dies without doing any damage, that's a huge blow. We've lost. That's it. We, we need him to stay alive. Jurassic Cat Sitter might be extremely good. It's got the levels for it. It has levels for it. You know what? He's going on the squad. Welcome to the squad, bro. Squad up! You know what? Black Betakuma as well. You thought you'd never see him ever again. Well, you know what? He's on the next episode, guys. He's made it to two videos, guys. Round of applause to Black Betakuma. Honestly, who'd have thought? Who'd have thought this unit right here would make it to two videos? Not I. Not really. Not at all. It's a collab unit. Very rarely do collab units live for more than one video. You know, I show them off in one video, but like, oh, cool. New unit. Well, this is trash. Throw it away there. It's gone now. Freaking weird dancing bear. Gone forever. Was a great, you know, not even a meme. I can't even call him a meme. He, he was never even a meme. He was just like a weird bear. <laughs> Creep me the hell out. Yo, Muskandag, by the way. Again. All right. So, like, my plan is, boom. Paris Cat. Instantly. Paris Cat for the snacks. We're going to take a little bit of damage here on the base. That's fine. Stack up Paris Cats. Yo, what the hell? Kill the snakes! The snakes have done so much damage already! Kill the snakes! Come on! What is going on? The snakes aren't dying here. Why are the snakes dying here? I am terrified right now. The snakes are supposed to be dying very quickly here. There we go. I'm pretty happy with this so far. Keep it up, Paris Cats. Maybe some meat shields and Maybe some meat shields, but honestly... Meat shields? Mm -mm. Not working out too well. Yo, pig is already down. Pig is already dead. Summon everything right now. I think meat shields was a huge problem here. Meat shields was not working for us. And I think that's maybe because of the snakes. The red snakes were, were destroying the meat shields. They weren't having any purpose whatsoever. We're going to take the hits on our big units. But honestly, they're worth. They're worth their price in gold. Better Kuma. We're going to start stacking that boy up. We're knocking them back. Giving us more time to do other stuff. Right now, this is so much better. This is actually going so much better than previous. We're knocking them back. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna hit the base. We're gonna knock them back and hit the freaking base. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna knock that freaking base. We don't need meat shields anymore. Knock back the aliens, hit the metal hippos with the crit hitters, and then, you know, we're winning. We're winning this. We're slightly winning this. Uh, there we go. Metal hippos down because we knocked back the aliens. Then we kill the aliens now, please. Don't know where he's aiming that finger gun, but you better be careful. Because you know what? I've got one of my own. 
<laughs> Alright, so far, this has worked, like, surprisingly well. Didn't really think this would work, honestly. Like, I know it was gonna be better, I knew that. But, like, you know, for it to actually possibly work? Mm -mm, no, that was beyond me. Beyond my wildest dreams right there. I had no idea this could ever possibly work. Yo, it is working so well, though. You know what? We deserve some meat shields right now. We deserve a little bit of meat shields here. Just protect our front people. But only one alien mole right now and only one metal hippo. We should be able to handle this with our army. And we should be able to push them back. Yo, metal hippo already dead. Mole guy is next up. Already dead. That was really easy. But Akuma? Good unit or not? I don't know. I don't know. Kind of, yeah. In the right situations, Batakuma is a really good unit. It's a cheap way to knock back aliens, alright? Aliens are a very common enemy within the game. I reckon Batakuma is a good unit. I'm giving him a 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10 is... no... 6 out of 10. He's a good unit. He's above average right now. Conditions, give it to me. Max deployable cats is 15. All right, we need to scrap this entire team now. You know what? I'm replacing shield cat with Betakuma. Betakuma's here to stay for a while, guys. I'm doing it. I'm crazy. Get rid of crit hitters. I'm hoping we don't need to do that anymore. And you know what? I want to see my beautiful baby boys in action here. So here we go. We got unknown cat. We got Asalan. <laughs> I want to see them in action here. We got the Asaluga family. Corona. Let the battle begin. It's a big giant apple in the in space. And there's the apple idol queen. <laughs> no, don't get that reference either. You start off the round with a simple move. It's a seafarer cat. It's a good move. It's like moving like your, your, your black pawn unit forwards in chess. It's a good move. Very effective move. Next up, we're summoning this guy right here. I need to zoom out so I can see his face. I can't even see his face still. Oh, he has wave attacks. I know that was, you know, something I already knew, but like, still. Oh, he has wave attacks. He is pretty goddamn slow to attack, though. I just love seeing that wave attack on the go. I love seeing that. All right, this is where it gets a little bit difficult now because he's dead already. He's immediately dead. He didn't do much and is immediately dead. So maybe we'll give like another... Luga family member a chance. Nickeluga, you're up next. There we go. Again, can't really see your head there, bro. Is Asaluga the shortest? So we can only deploy 12. We have to be careful here. Um... Oh, no. It's a starry angel fish. <laughs> That's bad. That's really bad and scary. That's actually really scary. That's a brand spanking new unit. It has huge range. Um, it can like shoot like an AOE from a very far away. You know what? We just need to kill. Holy crap. Nekaluga did nothing. All right. They're still a little bit too weak then. They're still a little bit too weak. You want to ask Aluga? He's an old one. He's an old baby boy. He's out next. He's just killing them all. You know what? No more meat shields. They're not serving any purpose right now. Just the big chunky ones from now on. Okay. Big chunky cats from now on. They're getting destroyed here. All right. Save up your money. Slow him down, Asaluga. Come on, hurry up. Come on. Oh my god, you didn't attack a single time. The Luga family are letting me down here. Their range isn't that great compared to, like, you know, starry angel alien fish. My god, he looks so majestic. All right, so the Luga family was a huge waste of money. Can't deny this. Maybe they're not very good for this situation here. I like the Luga family. I'm going to keep on using the Luga family. But right now, they ain't ready for this. They're, they're not... High enough level yet. They're only like level 12. Oh, yo, Angel Fish is dead. That was really easy. What an easy game. Oh, you got uber carried by the Luga family. No, I bloody didn't. They sucked. Sweet victory. Well done. Inferior Pop Idol. Thank God. I have always wanted one of those. Well, anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for now. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to smash that like button and let me know in the comments below which Luger family member that you want to see leveled up Level 30, maybe. I don't know. Maybe even third form. Fingers crossed. Probably not, no. But let me know which Luka family you want to see striving high on my team getting squatted up. That's a lot of, like, weird terms are used there. <laughs> Anyways, guys. I'll see you guys another time. ba 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 Pa 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 p
Ba 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 